So today I'm going to show you a one tool, one adjustment layer that you can use inside of Photoshop if you don't really like to use a mask. That's an adjustment layer that allows you to target a specific colors inside of your image, which will uh, help you to don't do mask if you are not a big fan. However, I think you should really use mask if you use Photoshop, otherwise you are really missing out on uh, how to use the software. But uh, today, let's talk about this adjustment layers. Let's jump into Photoshop and I'm going to show you that. So I'm here inside of Photoshop and uh, I want to show you this adjustment layer that is called Selective Color. So uh, when you click on Selective Color, you can see that you have um, this here named colors and you can see red, yellow, green, cyan, blues, magenta, white, neutral, blacks. Then when you click on one color, you have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So if I click on a red, that means that it's going to target everything that is red in my image. So then with this slider, I can decide how I want my uh, colors to be affected. And before using uh, the selective color, I want to explain you something. So here we have one slider. If I go uh, to the right, I'm going to add more cyan. If I go uh, to the right with magenta, I'm going to add more magenta to my red. If I uh, go to the right with yellow, I'm going to add more yellow to my red. If I go to the right uh, with black, I'm going to add more black to my red. But what happens if I go uh, to the left? So for that, it's important to understand that when you go uh, to the left side, that means you are adding the opposite color of um, the name that is here. So what is the opposite color of uh, cyan? This is red. So here, if I want to emphasize the red, I should go to the left. If I want to desaturate the red, I should go more uh, towards the right. What is the opposite color of magenta? This is green. So if I go uh, to the left, I'm adding green to the red. And you can see that the image is kind of turning into greens. What is the opposite color of yellow? This is a uh, violet. So here you can see when I go uh, to the left side, I'm adding some violet to uh, my red and here with the black, I'm kind of adding a white, so brightening my image. So it's very important to know what are the opposite color of cyan, magenta, yellow and black. So I know how I'm affecting my colors so yeah we are we were on the red but if i go um to the blues for example that is the same so if i go to the right here i'm adding cyan if i go um to the left uh, i am adding some red and you can see like blue and red is doing a kind of purple that's why the sky is turning kind of purple here if i wanted to add some green to my uh, blues i would go to the left or if i want to add magenta i would go to the right so i think you got the concept and what is interesting is that with selective color as you are really targeting one specific color then you don't need to use a mask and it can be faster to target some colors this way. Now, sometimes you want to target the reds that are maybe only uh, on this uh, building on the right. So that would be interesting to then create a mask for this building only so it doesn't target the rest of the image. So let's use it in practice. I'm going to go back to the reds and see what I decide to do. I want reds to be more dynamic i think especially here where there is the plain spots okay maybe add some yellow to it okay so i do like it but i don't like that it's affecting the building the church here so i'm actually uh, going to do command i on the mask and then uh, with a white color 100 percent opacity 100 percent flow i am going to brush only this building here so it's targeting this building only it doesn't target the wall image and you can see before and after before and after it's targeting only this area so then what i can do is to create another adjustment selective color and now let's say i want to target the yellows only and uh, let's do uh, some settings okay here it's interesting uh, by adding some cyan we can really emphasize the greens in our image never forget that uh, greens 
uh, usually doesn't appear like green in the software we're more towards yellow so if you want to target greens it's important to play around with yellows and with greens as well so let's see so you can see before and after here we really uh, we've been targeting the greens very much so if you want an image with emphasizing uh, greens that's an interesting way to do that now i am going to uh, create another one and uh, show you uh, kind of a split toning so i'm gonna add some blue in the shadows so i'm go to blacks and uh, let's add some blue in the shadows and then i'm gonna go to the white and add some yellow see just with the selective color i've been adding contrast and did a split toning uh, just yeah with this without making any uh, masking so you can see with those three uh, selective color before and after before and after i've been able to color grade my image so here it's not in depth i could add more i could do more a uh, mask even uh, using the selective color and i would be able to do a very advanced color uh, grading so i really recommend you to go inside of photoshop and play around with the selective color to learn how to use it i hope that you like this video and that you learned a new technique today if it's the case please push the like button and i see you in the next video if you want to learn advanced technique in photoshop especially for your travel photography you can register to the wait list for my upcoming course reteaching bootcamp joining the waitlist is free the link is in the description.